It's very trendy right now in the United States. NAD+, what is it and what is it used for? Basically, the way our body works is a bit like a power plant. It transforms nutrients into energy. And for this power plant to run at full capacity, it needs an essential molecule called NAD+, also known as nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. NAD exists in two forms. NAD+, is its oxidized form, and NADH is its reduced form. We'll come back to this later, but keep in mind that the NAD plus NADH ratio is fundamental to our health. By the way, make sure to stay until the end, because I'm going to reveal things you won't see anywhere else. Really, nowhere else. NAD plus is present in all our cells, but what is its main role? Specifically to transport electrons, NAD plus captures electrons from nutrients, and NADH transfers them to our mitochondria, our true energy factories, where they can produce ATP. Without this process, it would be impossible to move, to think, to watch this video, or even to go exercise. Yeah, that would be pretty inconvenient, honestly. Basically, when you eat food, that food contains energy, and NAD is like a little truck that takes the hidden energy from your food and delivers it to the power plant, the mitochondria. And so once it's there, in the mitochondria, the energy is transformed into ATP. So the more little trucks you have, the greater your capacity to use energy. And that has a huge impact on all cellular functions. And that's not all. NAD also plays a key role in repairing our DNA, regulating our genes, and of course, in the proper functioning of our mitochondria. In fact, it's involved in more than 500 vital enzymatic reactions. Without NAD, our cells literally die. And we wouldn't last more than a few seconds either. The problem is that as we age, our bodies produce less of it and break it down more. A decrease in NAD can be seen as early as age 30. The enzymes responsible for breaking it down, especially CD38, also increase with age. So with both a drop in production and an increase in its breakdown, our NAD reserves can plummet dramatically. Especially if, on top of that, your lifestyle habits are lacking. And having a low level of NAD is exactly what we want to avoid. Just to give you an idea, here are the possible negative effects of a low NAD level. Chronic fatigue, reduced muscle recovery, brain fog and difficulty concentrating, metabolic dysfunction, which can lead to weight gain, insulin resistance, premature aging of the skin and tissues, increased chronic inflammation, decline in cognitive functions, weakened DNA repair, exposing you to more cellular mutations. And now you're wondering, but how do I know if I have a low NAD level? The best way is to get a blood test, but I know you're not going to do it. I'm starting to get to know you. So here are the signs that may indicate a low level of NAD. Less energy on a daily basis, decreased endurance, difficulty concentrating, slow recovery after physical exertion, sleep problems, dull and aging skin, weight gain or difficulty losing weight. You understand its importance a bit more now. Can supplementing with NAD plus boosters improve athletic performance? Now, this is where it gets really exciting, but I invite you to subscribe because I'm saving this topic for an upcoming video where I'll explain it in detail. NAD plus precursors are often sold and used for their supposed effects on longevity. But does it really help you live longer? Honestly, I'm not here to sell you dreams or to push you to consume products. Today, it's still difficult to take a clear stance on this subject. There is a serious lack of solid studies in humans to be able to make such claims. And the problem is that proving an effect on longevity takes decades. It's extremely long, complex and expensive. That being said, when you look at the mechanism of action of NAD, you can understand why many scientists claim it has effects on longevity. There are solid biological reasons to think that NAD could have these interesting effects. But for me, when it comes to longevity, it's not a supplement or a medication that's going to change everything. The real concrete impact lies in your habits. Your physical activity, your sleep, your stress management, your diet. To me, these pillars are the most important ones to prioritize. Maybe, considering the benefits of NAD, you're thinking, okay, maybe I should try it because I have all the symptoms of a low NAD level. But you don't know where to start or what to look for to choose the right supplement. So be careful. The one thing you shouldn't do when taking NAD Plus is to not buy NAD Plus. Yes, I know, you're giving me a weird look too. It might sound contradictory. He tells us all about the benefits of NAD and now he's telling us not to buy it. Let me clarify. Don't take a dietary supplement where NAD plus is listed as an ingredient. Why? Because that would be the NAD plus molecule itself. And taking NAD plus directly by mouth doesn't work. That's just how it is. 
It's a relatively large molecule that needs to be broken down to be absorbed, which ultimately makes it almost useless. But the reality is that NAD is very unstable. It literally takes a Mike Tyson uppercut in the digestive system. So don't be fooled. Don't buy a dietary supplement that sells pure NAD+. I say this, but the worst part is that's really just the basics. But I still see brands, even in 2025, coming out with NAD plus boosters using the NAD molecule. Anyway, it's neither the first nor the last of the inconsistent things we see coming out every day in this field. So the only situation where directly using NAD plus makes sense is through intravenous injection. It's very trendy right now in the United States, but even then there's no solid evidence that it's superior to taking precursors like NR or NMN orally. The only possible advantage of intravenous administration is that it increases NAD levels more quickly. On the other hand, there is a drawback. During the injection, you might experience quite severe nausea. And the price? It's not cheap. Be aware that with high quality supplementation of NMN or NR, your NAD plus levels can naturally reach a high and sustained level after a few weeks. By the way, let's now talk about the precursors. Precursors like NMN or NR have shown real effectiveness in increasing blood NAD plus levels, but they're not the only ones. There are other precursors capable of optimizing NAD levels through different metabolic pathways, such as vitamin B3 in the form of nicotinamide or niacin. These forms maintain NAD plus levels in a more gradual and sustained way while also providing the added bonus of interesting anti-inflammatory properties. And then there's NADH, which is truly fascinating. When NADH is taken orally, part of it is oxidized into NAD plus, particularly in the mitochondria via an enzyme, while another part remains in its NADH form. This is essential for maintaining an optimal balance between NAD plus and NADH. Because it's not only important to boost NAD+, but also to preserve the NAD+, NADH balance in a sustainable way. So if you think about it, the perfect formula would be to combine a fast precursor like NR or NMN, but NMN is no longer authorized in Europe, nicotinamide for a slower and more prolonged effect, and NADH to stabilize the NAD+, NADH balance, but there's a problem here. On the market, you mainly find NR and NADH sold separately. And when you look closely to get a good effect with NADH, you would need a dose of at least 20 milligrams per day. However, most NADH supplements contain only 10 milligrams per capsule, not to mention that the price of NADH is really quite high. As a result, you would need to take two capsules of NADH and one capsule of NR per day. And honestly, that starts to get very, very expensive. But I have the solution. Fortunately, 10 is here. So we created a formula with NR for fast action, along with nicotinamide for a slower and more prolonged effect. Yes, we could have chosen niacin as well, but niacin can cause hot flashes in some people. And finally, NADH at 25 milligrams per capsule to maintain the redox balance. On the other hand, we have another problem. NADH is very sensitive to oxidation and must be delivered to the small intestine to be better absorbed. As shown in this study, researchers found that the NADH molecule was unstable in the acidic conditions of the stomach. Once again, 10 is here and we've thought of everything. We use delayed release gastro-resistant capsules that protect NADH from oxidation and ensure its optimal release at the right place. And here, if you do a quick calculation, 350 milligrams of NR plus nicotinamide and 25 milligrams of NADH with gastro-resistant capsules, it sounds like it would cost a fortune. Well, actually, no. Of course, it all depends on your budget, but in terms of value for money, you won't find anything better. It's just not possible. All of this at the best price is made in France. No need to thank me. We don't have any investors putting pressure on our margins. My main goal remains the same, your results and making optimized products accessible. With that, see you next time.